tonight is the night when we launch one of the most important things that we do each year. Yep, it's the One Show Rickshaw Challenge for 2020 with all the details about how we plan to do this safely. Plus, we end a week of speculation about who's on the team and who's riding with them. Yes, and it's not the ball. Sadly, no. not good in And life. as it's Thursday... Thursday, we told you that the One Show Rickshaw Challenge was coming back this year and tonight we can reveal for the first time who's going to be riding and how we plan to do this safely. Now, there has been lots of speculation over the past week and the rickshaw is celebrating its 10th year. So, there really was just one person for the job. It is, of course, Matt Baker! <laughs> Matt! Hello! How are you? Hello! I'm very well, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm over the moon. Actually, Bruce uh, turned up with some one-shore lights and has lit uh, our orchard here. The sheep are very bemused about what's going on here, <laughs> but uh, it's lovely to be back on the show. Oh, it's lovely to <laughs> it's see lovely you. It's lovely to see you as well. Really, really nice. Um, and you've got the rickshaws out. Yeah, well, um, yeah, welcome to my home and uh, welcome <laughs> to my very random uh, rickshaw collection. I do actually have one of these things. It's, uh, it's mad, really. They've taken over my life. This rickshaw challenge has taken over my life. It's taken over my barns, my sheds, everything. But I am delighted to say that, yes, we are back very safely this year. Uh, I'm going to give you all the details of how we're going to make this happen uh, this year. But it involves Goodwood, so we will not be welcoming everybody out onto the streets. We're going to make this as safe as we we possibly can and I'm really excited that we're actually going to be able to give it a go but yeah it's incredible actually when I think back 10 years ago this thing started I set out on this very rickshaw here it's 13 and a half stone it's like it's like scaffolding on wheels this thing but yeah I left Edinburgh Castle went down to London and I had no idea what was about to happen or what this thing would turn into it was incredible how many people came out to show their support I'm still incredibly grateful for that that first year it raised 1.9 million but I thought to myself do you know what this isn't about people on the telly going out there and doing stuff this is about those youngsters who benefited from children in need in the past so was there possibly a way to create like a relay team and create a team rickshaw well we did it in that second year it's gone from strength to strength and do you know what there's been so many incredible highlights over the years that's where rickshaw 2 comes in um, this one was retired in 2017 it's like the rickshaw hall of fame this but yeah there's been so many inspirations inspirational youngsters that have been on board and now with McLaren's involvement as well it means that so many youngsters with different physical abilities can actually get involved and you know I've just watched so many of those youngsters over the years just grow in confidence it's been life-changing for them life-changing for their families too sadly not everybody is still here to be able to celebrate with us but they're here in spirit and that is the big thing about Team Rickshaw it's an incredible family and it is an incredible spirit and I would like to welcome the first of our six riders uh, this year as I say we're going to be going around Woodwood Goodwood I'll tell you about that very shortly but I'd like you to meet Sarah Lewis and James <laughs> I'm James, I'm 16 and I'm from Derbyshire. I had a rare autoimmune disease. The worst part of my illness was my mouth. It closed shut because I had ulcers all over it. It made me very small and fragile and very skinny because I couldn't eat. My bones hurt all the time. I feel like I've missed out on a lot of my childhood because I was so poorly and I couldn't go outside with my friends and I was isolated on my own. I'm Sarah, I'm 16 and I'm from London. When I was a baby I was diagnosed as for a family death and I was struggling to make friends. My voice hearing dog. She helped me with the sound I can't hear. She helped me when I'm upset or wherever I'm going through and she's my best friend. My name's Lewis, I'm 18 and I'm from Coventry. In 2017 I was diagnosed with a rare form of bone cancer which led me to having my leg amputated but I'm here now as a survivor. I'm doing this year's Rickshaw Challenge because the children in need, they help me. I'm very excited and looking forward to Rickshaw Challenge. I want to show people that deaf people can do anything. I'm really excited to take part in this year's Rickshaw Challenge. I'm most looking forward to proving that although I am an amputee, I can still ride a bike like anyone else and I can strive to achieve challenges as big as the Rickshaw Challenge. I'm looking forward to getting to know my team. 
I think Lewis is going to be the joker of the team. He just seems very friendly and funny. I like cracking jokes and I'm just always positive about everything. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to wake up early in the morning. I'm least looking forward to the hills, um, which might shock people because I live in Derbyshire. Even though I may struggle, I'll, no matter what, I'll have a smile on my face and I'll always push forward. Over a year ago, I was still recovering uh, and to now be doing the rickshaw challenge is just amazing and I just want to get on that bike now and do it. When I finish, next day will be my birthday. It will be a good birthday present. I'm honoured just to be part of that team. It means a lot to me and then I'm just ready to get out there and show everyone who I am. Wow. Some fantastic kids there, Matt. Uh, we'll meet the rest of the team in a moment. But obviously this year, you've got to make some changes. Safety is a priority. What are you going to be doing? Yeah, well, if anybody has been out and seen the, uh, the rickshaw as we travel across the country, they'll know that it's a big old kind of like travelling circus. So many vehicles, so many people. And I do apologise even now if you've been stuck in one of those traffic jams behind us. But I can guarantee that that will not be happening this year because we ain't going out on any public roads. We're going to be in a lockdown situation going around Goodwood Estate. And Goodwood have been absolutely superb. So we've got quite a few options whilst we're there. There's an aerodrome at Goodwood. So with, there's, there's some Spitfires that have said they're going to hopefully do a, a fly past for us. Uh, we've got the horse racing circuit that we can use. We've obviously got the car track as well, so there is a bit of a steep climb going up there. And also there's the estate itself, a big old road going around the estate. And I'm very excited about the farm as well. There's 4,000 acres there. Um, so like I say, good would have been brilliant. Uh, the team that I always do um, the rickshaw challenge with, as far as the logistics is concerned, they're involved too. I trust them implicitly. Um, so I'm delighted that we're all being able Able to do this together we're going to be in a very um, confined lockdown kind of bubble situation so we're going to make it as safe as possible and like I said before we will not be welcoming the public to come and see this but the idea is we're going to be going loopy around Goodwood in homage to that very first trip that I did we're going to do as the crow flies miles from Edinburgh to London which we reckon is 332 so that's the idea. We're just going to be there for eight days and I cannot wait. I know you've already met three members of Team Rickshaw. Well, now it's time to meet the final three. So let's say hello to Rosie, to Owen and to Lauren. Hello, I'm Rosie. I'm 19 and I'm from London. I have cerebral palsy, so that means I struggle to use my legs. And sometimes I do feel like I'm kind of trapped, but then at the same time, like, if I didn't have it, I definitely wouldn't be the person I am. My name's Owen, I'm 14, and I'm from Belfast, Northern Ireland. A few years ago, I lost my daddy, and shortly after that, I lost my family home. I just really didn't want to do anything, didn't want to get out of my bed, didn't want to speak. My name's Lauren, I'm 16 and I live in Aberdeen. I have Turner syndrome, bone dysplasia and dwarfism and I've had 12 operations. I'm always in pain and it's just all I've ever known. Because of my operations I have missed out on social activities. It has made making friends very difficult. It's made me feel very lonely and like I don't fit in. I'm doing the Rachel Tally because children in need helps people like me really excel in life. And I want to prove to myself that I can take on a challenge like this. Okay. And I'm also doing it to show other people that despite having a disability, you can still pursue your dreams and do what you want to do. I know it's going to be a challenge, but I think it'll be really rewarding. I want to be able to meet new friends. I'm getting to know my teammates and they're all friendly people. The thing I'm going to bring to the rickshaw is my energy and positivity and hopefully a few jokes along the way. Rosie stands out for me because she's very funny and outgoing. <laughs> I'm not worried about having to do the cycling because I've been training hard. Yeah. I think the hills I will find difficult but I know I'll push through. I didn't think that I would ever get an opportunity like this. can't believe that it's happening. Yeah, I'm very excited for the Rickshaw Challenge. I can't wait. I'm very excited. It'll be so nice. It's like a family. I think I will feel physically exhausted, 
but mentally happy and relieved. You know what? Yeah, and every year the bravery and gumption of these youngsters just floors me. So inspiring. Uh, well, so the plan is that all being well, we'll have live updates every night on the one show starting on Friday the 6th of November. And then the whole show will be coming live from Goodwood a week later on the actual Children in Need night itself so that we can welcome Team Rickshaw over the finish line. Yeah, and you can start supporting them right now because, as you've seen, the donation lines are open. So here we go to donate five. 5, 10, 20 or 30 pounds. Text the word 5, 10, 20 or 30 to 70701. Texts will cost your donation plus your standard network message charge and 100% of your donation will go to BBC Children in Need. You must be 16 or over and please do ask the bill payers permission. For full terms and conditions and more information or to donate any amount you'd like online, go to bbc.co.uk slash pudsey. Oh, Matthew, it's lovely to see you, just very briefly. But you know what? We're going to see lots more of you, obviously, over the next month. I'm really looking forward to it. They look like a great team as well. Oh, fantastic. It's really tough, you know, our selection when we choose the team, but uh, we think we've got a brilliant bunch, as always. But seriously, thank you. I know it's difficult to be asking for donations uh, this year in particular, but we're happy to accept whatever you will give us. So thank you so Cheers. much. Here we are, 4,300 miles and £36 million later. Thanks for a great 10 years so far. Aww. And no one thank is you, better positioned to do it, Matt. Exactly. Thank you. Uh, Children in Need is celebrating its 40th anniversary, and it's more more important this year than ever. Yes, there are lots of